to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be making some pins. Not these kinds of pins, but these. But the main focus in this video is I'm going to be trying out this shrink film that I've had for a while and I've been wanting to try it out but I haven't gotten a chance to and I got it from Hobby Lobby but if you don't have a Hobby Lobby near you, you can also probably get it from Amazon. Let's go ahead and open it up. So there are six sheets and they are supposed to be relatively clear so you can trace your design. Like I said, I have not done this before so I'm trying my best and I think I'm going to use these alcohol based markers because uh, I tried it on the corner of this piece and it doesn't rub off and the three designs I'm going to be doing is this giraffe and this is whenever I created created my own original OC characters and then these two I found on a website and it's a cute panda and a narwhal. Now I'm going to fast forward starting to make these pens but first I want to tell you guys something so these are supposed to shrink um, 20% of their size now so hopefully this is not too big because this is kind of big I'm really hoping that's not too big but I also don't want them to be too small so first one turned out and now I'm going to do the second one and with the last two I'm going to use acrylic paint So the acrylic paint wasn't really working that well. As you can see, it looks more brown than black. So I'm just going to go over it with this marker and then hopefully it will turn out better. And on the note of animal, there is this really cool website and you can help endangered animals. And so that website is really cool. So make sure to go check it out. I will link it in the description box down below. Now it's time to continue. So here is my final panda bear. I really like how he turned out. And I'm hoping the black will darken up a little bit whenever it goes into the oven. And so now it's time for my final narwhal. So this is how the last one turned out, and I like how it turned out. It The marker did like a weird thing, and it made it look like watercolor almost, but I do kind of like how it looks. I think it looks kind of neat that way. So now we need to bake them. Before we bake them, we do need to cut them out, so I'm going to fast forward cutting them out.
were pay paying attention in the fast forward video. But this um, giraffe, whenever I was cutting it out, it cracked right there. So when I, if you do this, you need to be very careful whenever you're cutting these out because it cracks very easily. And what I would recommend doing is, well, the third one I cut out didn't crack. Um, but what I would recommend doing is leave a little area of the plastic around it. That might help it not crack as much. I don't really know. But this one cracked a little bit in the tail here. And then this one just, the whole head fell off. So that was really unfortunate. But I taped it back together and hopefully that will work. I don't really know. I was hoping whenever I put it in the oven, it will somehow glue back together. Um, but now I need to go put these in the oven. The directions say to preheat your oven approximately 300 or 350 and Fahrenheit and you need to bake it for about one to two minutes. When they go in the oven, I'm going to put parchment paper underneath and on top. And I was actually mistaken. You need to bake them from two to three minutes and not one to two. Okay guys, so these are how they look. They got a lot tiny, and I really like how they turned out. The giraffe one, um, like I said, the head fell off, and so um, it's in the fridge right now um, drying because it, I put this glue on it, and it dries quicker in the fridge. So I put it in the fridge, and um, I'm just waiting for it to dry, but I'm not going to do the pin on camera so this is what it looks like right now in the fridge so I'm gonna put a photo right up here and now I'm going to glue these little pins on the back so then I can t attach them to like um, a backpack I could attach them to a shirt just there are so many things I can do with them so I'm super excited to finish them so this is the real shiny smooth side and on this side this is the side I drew on and it's kind of rough so on the shiny smooth side that's the side that's going to face up so if you were doing any wor wording you need to do it backwards so now I'm going to glue them on so I'm just going to take a little bit of this glue just dabbing it on it started coming out really fast, so that's why there's a lot. Um, I'm just going to set it over there. And I'm just going to stick it on right about there. There we go. I don't really like how I can see the back, but... It's okay because whenever you have them on something, so like if I put it on the plant, you wouldn't be really able to notice it. So then uh, now I'm going to do it on this one. And I'm just doing the same exact thing. Dab of glue. And then goes on the rough side. And this one I'm going to put over here. There we go. such a fun craft I would definitely recommend you do it it is now the end of my video I really really hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please give this video a big thumbs up thank you so so much for watching bye